This video is for Mobius Lesson 11a, homework question number 4. Solve the following independent system, system of equations. 4x minus 6y equals negative 32. 10x minus 3y equals 16. So the first thing they've told us already is that it is an independent system. So I know that I will get an answer. They're not parallel and they are not the same uh, equation. Parallel would be inconsistent. If there's the same equation, it would be dependent. Because it's independent, I have two lines that will cross at one point exactly. So the first thing we're going to do is the way the interactive textbook did it. We could have graphed. I'm not going to go through that method. I'm going to go ahead and do the substitution since graphing is something we've already covered and substitution is new. So the first thing I want to do is just pick any of these equations and solve for any of the variables. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to pick this one and just because I just did <laughs> and I'm going to solve for x. So the first thing I want to do is make sure x is all by itself on the left hand side. So on the uh, over here to get rid of the 6x we're going to add or 6y add 6y here and to keep it balanced we have to also add 6y here. On the left side, negative 6y plus 6y is 0, so it's cancelled out, and I'm left with positive 4x equals negative 32 plus 6y. Those can't combine, so I'm just going to just write it 6y uh, minus 32, or you can put add a negative 32 so that you remember that negative is attached to the 32. All right, so the only thing left is to divide both sides by 4 uh, so that the x is all by itself. And last time I went ahead and did that by hand, but I kind of think it will be easier if I go ahead and insert an equation. So I think we'll do that right here. Okay, so now that I have it copied, I'm going to, <laughs> whoops. Get in here and edit. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I just need to divide by 4. And the equation editor is really nice. When I do the divide that's slanted, pressing the space bar will make it look nicer. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Divide by 4, get my space bar, and divide by 4, space bar, and it just looks nicer. Okay, so on the left-hand side, 4 divided by 4 cancels out, and I'm just left with x. Here, uh, I am going to just draw a little bit on this one uh, so that we can see. To uh, simplify 6 over 4, I can divide both of them by 2, which gives me 3 halves. And then 32 divided by 4, this actually divides out to a whole number of 8. And then we can just rewrite this. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the, the whole thing in the equation editor. Okay, over here on the left-hand side, 4 divided by 4 cancelled. So I'm left with x. And this 2 <laughs> should not be down here. It needs to move back up to here. There we go. Okay, so 6 became 3, 4 became 2, and 32 divided by 4 became 8. And there we go. Okay, so now that I have this all solved for x, I'm going to go to the other equation, the one that I did not work with first, because if I go back into the same equation, then I'm not taking the second one into account at all. So make sure that when you're doing that, you're going into the other equation. So I'm going to copy and paste it here. This is the substitution par portion, which is taking this x and substituting in what I just solved for. And I always put parentheses around whatever I'm going to be substituting in so that I make sure everything gets in there. So now I'm going to copy all of this that is the x and insert it in between those parentheses. The reason I must make sure is that all of the negative signs, all of those variables and numbers uh, go in there so that they're all multiplied by the 10. And to do that, we need to make sure that we do the distributive, that this 10 is multiplied to every term inside of there. All right, now like we did before, 10 times 3 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So I'm going to have 
15y and then 10 times a uh, actually adding a negative 8 we can put minus 80 or we can put plus negative 80 it's up to you and then the 3y out here is not inside the parentheses. do not multiply it by the 10 so we can put plus negative 3y we can put minus 3y um, whatever you feel comfortable with but just make sure that you have that negative sign attached either as a subtraction or as uh, a plus a negative and we've done nothing on the right hand side so far so leave it on the left hand side we have 15y and a minus 3y those are like terms and I can combine those which gives me 12y and then we have this plus negative 80 or minus 80 however you want to write that and we still have the 16 on the right side all right so now I still am looking for isolating the y on the right we're solving for the y so I want to subtract 80 here and also subtract 80 here and I'm left with oh I think I have a negative wrong somewhere I forgot to write it minus or plus a negative 80 make sure that that's attached which means I'm going to be adding 80 here adding for me I think I like using the the subtraction sign instead of the add the negative uh, that's my preference uh, uh, so if that is what you like as well and I forgot the Y here oh, I'm missing so many things all over the place okay there we go 12 Y plus a negative 80 so we're going to add a positive 80 to both sides which makes that <laughs> there we go okay so now we have positive 12 y and we've moved or gotten rid of the 80 we can show this by positive 80 and negative 80 canceling on the right hand side we have positive 16 and positive 80 which makes this a positive 96 Let's scoot that over so that all the equal signs are as lined up as i can get Okay, to solve for the 12 or the y, I need to divide both sides by 12. And 12 divided by 12 on the left hand side is 1. 1 times y is y, or you can just think of it as eliminating because they're canceling each other out. We end up with y. Uh, 96 divided by 12 gives me 8. And there we go. We have one coordinate for our. Uh, our ordered pair for our independent uh, system of equations. So now I need to find the x value. I can substitute the y into the first equation here or the second equation or since I've already gotten an equation solved for x this actually saves me two steps so I'm going to go ahead and use this one and substitute 8 in to here and make sure when I'm substituting I get parentheses and the reason I do that is if I don't put that in sometimes we can read that as 38 instead of 3 times 8 and we really need to do 3 times 8 all right and so we're going to work that out 3 oh, we're gonna get a new line here Oops. so we get x equals 3 times 8 is 24 24 divided by 2 and then we're going to add a negative 8 or subtract 8 and I have learned that uh, my brain needs the subtraction sign <laughs> so 24 divided by 2 is 12 equals 12 minus 8 which equals 4 and that is the second part of our coordinate pair and we can our ordered pair is 4 comma 8 X and then Y and we can substitute that or we can write that in over here and then check our solution but I am also going to do a part B with the elimination method which I find is much easier than the substitution method and maybe has a fewer uh, problems with uh, those negatives and fractions so maybe it'll be more helpful for you as well uh, since this one's so long I will also do a part two with the elimination method